put them in the younger. See, it's in the bloodline. You know, they're talking about generational curse. Let me show you how real it is. Now, we tell you homosexuals weren't born a certain way, right? Let me show you revelation. Yes, they are. Can I show you how? We don't know what grandma was doing back in the 20s. We don't know what they were sleeping with. And one thing about a demon, it transfers. So he said, I visit to iniqu the iniquities upon the children until the third and fourth generation. So that devil is passed down. Now, here's the revelation. Jesus Christ had another name. We know him as Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. Huh? Guess what his name is? Grace. Grace. Huh? Grace. See, you under the law when you break the law. Now, any book will tell you, I ain't in the law. I, ain't, I, I, I don't believe that. No, I ain't. Don't you ever quote Psalms 23. Come on now. Don't you ever quote Psalms 27. Because all that in the Old Testament. But you ain't in the Old, all right? So he ain't your shepherd. If you ain't in the Old Testament. He's not your light, your salvation. If you're not in the Old Testament. Huh? Jesus Christ said I'm the same yesterday, today, today and forevermore. Forever huh? What he did then, he's doing now. Yeah. So stop saying that unless you want to be a fool and land up in hate teams. Come on. Oh, no. I erased the bad memory. I erased the curse in the name of Jesus. As a prophet in the Lord, I took authority. In Jesus' name, you go in peace. Hallelujah. Let's say amen. I need you. Come on. Come on. Lift your hands. The more you fight it, the more he's gonna whoop you. It's mine, y'all. The more you fight it, the more he's gonna whoop you. Every decision you make is backwards because you're not consulting him. And one thing about it, I'm not accountable for your sins anymore. See, you ain't his age. That's when I was accountable for you. Mm -hmm. You was 18 now. Yes. And the devil hates your guts. Oh, and he's after you. Oh, His job is to sift you and kill you because of the light that's inside of you. Yeah, now you ain't never been a punk, so why punk out on God now? On, the world God. is calling you. The world is calling you. Woo! Keep running to the world as soon as you're going to get. You're going to get something that you can't get rid of. Oh, the daddy God. can't help get off of you. She got to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Yes, yes. She's been with me since she came out your mother's womb. It was just me and you. Me and you. That's it. You hear the devil is want to fight me. Want to try to kill my babies. See that message I preached last week? That was because of you. You chosen in the fire. Your answer's in the fire. See, it's your trial, but it was my test. Huh? But I told God, and I told you I saw death. I said, God, I'm going to put you in jail and going to kill you. I was at peace with it. You know why? Because I asked God to save you. When you came out the womb, he can save you many ways. He can cut your legs off and save you. He can put you in prison and save you. Or he'll take you out of here. But he saved you. That's why I'm at peace with whatever decision he made. You understand? Then he turned around and gave me another one. Lift him up, Samantha. Huh? 18 months old. Already prophesied. Already said hallelujah. That's a sign unto me. And I'm in God's plan. Huh? He had your prayer page because he just left the presence of God. So I said, my God, my God, will you give me another one for another life for a life? Your sins are on you now. Every decision you make dictates your future. If you obey God and run to safety, God will keep you. You're supposed to be in the position you're in, but you keep winning this position. You say this with me and your mom, and you fight her for no reason. And that's the one who do everything you fight. You fight her for no reason. Well, my life is an open book, y'all. My life is an open book. I have no shame. You think because I'm a prophet that I don't have trials? No, mine are greater because he tried to kill my kids. Huh? You better run and don't look back like the old song says. You better run. I keep giving you wise counsel. But I'm happy with God's decision. Yes. It's going to hurt for a minute if you take your eyes. Sweet the man do it for a night. You got to stop praying because you chose this preach this gospel. 
You have the revelation now that I don't even have. I see you preach as a baby. Write that trumpet in his eye. Demonstrate it, orchestrate it. I didn't give you no instructions. And they watched you. Because you were preaching. But keep running from your making. Stop being like Jonah. When God give it to you, you got the ministry. Huh? Those people mean you no well. I'm telling you, I've been holding this stuff in. I'd be a, if I be God's man, it ain't what you think it is. A true parent is going to come to the other parent. Use you. Take your money. Come on, man. That ain't God. You get wise counsel from us. You think we want to see you hurt? But we don't want to see you hurt what you keep getting hurt for. Because you keep going backwards. I'll not be a man of God. You better listen to me. The devil wants to kill you. He wants to kill you and take you out. I don't see. I can't touch you. Spirit. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give it all to my wife, Prophetess McClendon. I tell you, my brother been fighting us so bad, don't want this baby to be birthed. But one thing about it, I'll be your C-section. Yeah. <laughs> cut that book right on out. Huh? The baby has to come out no matter what. Thank God for my sister-in-law being so faithful and obedient. And her husband absent yeah. minister to heal. And we're not going to praise and worship for us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And Mother Scott, my spiritual mother, coming on out. Blessing us with that song. I tell you, that's so fun. That's the song for me, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. If you have your Bibles, give it honor to my apostle, Dr. Tom Walker, New Life Christian Fellowship. I was ordained this morning for my ministry. God's Power and Deliverance Ministries in Atlanta, Georgia, and God has put us on the journey. Yeah. One thing about this journey, it comes with trials. You know, we've been getting hit left and right, but we ain't, we ain't moved. You know, monkey, we, we know the devil got to do what he got to do, but we ain't going to fix fight. I mean, no matter what the devil does, he said, no way can form the history of prosper. And every time, come on, he said, more than a conqueror. Huh? Then he said, I asked Joe, have you considered my servant Joe? Have you considered my servant Apostle Bruce? Huh? Well, you're in a fixed fight because God always don't win. Amen. So no matter what happens, we're in a fixed fight. Uh -huh. Look at your neighbors and name. Yeah. We're in a fixed fight. A fixed fight. <laughs> if you have your Bibles, turn with me to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And I'm going to have my brother in the gospel, Elder Brown, read a little bit. I'm a little task in my body. We've been from Atlanta, Georgia. On Friday night to Hinesville, Georgia, to see my son in the pink back there. He plays for Curtis Baptist. And my nephew, Sean Brown, his son, he played for Curtis Baptist. So we was able to make that game. Then turn around, spent the night in Savannah, where my daughter is a cheerleader for Savannah State. Come on, Savannah. So I had to kill two birds with one stone. Then turn around and come back to Augusta, Georgia, to get to Sandersville to get ordained for my ministry and come here and be with y'all. Ain't God all right. I feel like a truck driver. Then we had to leave here because my house was sale. Anybody looking for a house? <laughs> oh, years old. <laughs> I had to put that in that picture. <laughs> but we selling that book, so it's a brand new house, and praise God, got to get some more things out of there. And then get on back up to Atlanta. Amen? If you have your Bibles, we're going to go to 2 Chronicles. Won't be before you long. How many of y'all give me five minutes? Raise your hand. Five minutes. Raise your hand. Five minutes. Raise them high. I can't see them. Raise your hand. Stay right there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, 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 Hallelujah. And I put that music. I saw our music book of Mission Wheels of Revival. And I'm sitting down, you know, we saw the devil. I'm like, how long you gonna be up there? A hundred minutes. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Brown got me with that one. I said, oh son, the devil is alive. <laughs> yeah, by him, son. You ain't the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna wanna get me some chicken. I'm gonna chicken eat preachers, ain't it? Book of Second Chronicles 11, verse 1. And if you give me some time, just a few minutes, I want to show you something tonight. I want to show you something that's a key that will get you out of a situation. Come on, somebody say situation. Now your situation is you go through trials, crisis, tribulation, opposition, transition, position, all this hell you're going through, but it's a purpose. And that purpose has a promise. And with that purpose and that promise, something has to happen in that transition. All you have to do is one thing. And here in 2 Chronicles, Jehoshaphat found out the key. It's one key. One key to get you out of a trial. One key to get the devil off your bills. One key or get the devil off your finances. One key will pay your bills. One key will get that nasty supervisor out your mess. One key will cause the enemy to stay still. Watch this revelation now. 
Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 1. We start reading. And it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other beside the Am Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Hold on now. It came to pass. So if it came to pass, God already was setting this up. If it came to pass, the Bible says those that he foreknew, them he also predestinated. See, it was predestinated that you go in the hospital and have them 86 pounds. Why? Look at you now because you got healing in your hands. You can't tell nobody God is a healer unless you've been sick. You can't tell nobody God is a deliverer unless you've been delivered from something. That's why you had that testimony, but you had to have the test. And that's why you walk around now looking like you're cleaning in the board of hell. See how those will stop. Anything you touch will turn to gold. Now has an anointing on thy life. Because you were predestined to go through that. You can't tell me nothing about nothing unless you experience that something. Come on, say mine. In other words, he said, it came to pass. So that means it already was going to happen. And then a great army came to do what? Battle. A great army came against the apostles. You're going to meet Jehoshaphat tonight. Uh, they came from North Augusta. They came from Rins. Uh, they came from Terror Tree. And all the surrounding counties came to put a gospel to do battle against the man of God. Come on, read verse 2. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There are coming a great multitude oh, against now, 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 they, now they running up on, on the apostle. They, they come in the kitchen. Now. We saw them.